going to start to move forward with the ball now. This type of practice now, for me, is so simple, but it's really effective because it's got everything in it. Control, um, change the direction and awareness. All right? So what we're going to do, so it doesn't matter whether you're a first team player or a, a young child learning to play, right? Terminology is simple. So when you're touching the ball now with your best foot, you're going to touch it with your big toe and your little toe. But what I want to see is, is I don't want to see how fast you can run. It's not about how fast you run. So the best players who do these practices get low to touches. So if you go from there to there and you've took three touches, it's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is to, to build your control and your awareness, is to get as many touches as you can. Now when you touch the ball, imagine there's paint on the ball. So if I kick that ball like that, bump, what's it going to paint? What type of line is it going to paint? Straight. Straight. Now, one thing is if you travel straight, a defender travels straight. So the key bit is when you're moving with the ball, imagine there's paint on the ball. We want to paint a zigzag. So, so if there's paint on that ball and it's moving, paints a zigzag across the line uh, to the end. So when I'm going on my right foot, I'm going to go right foot. I'm going to get as many little touches using my big toe and my little toe. And I'm trying to stay central in this area. So all I want you to do, just really slowly, just to get a feel for the ball, is you're going to go right foot this way and we're going to go left foot that way. But every couple, if you can, have a little look where you're going. All right, keep the ball moving. All try, right, try and keep it straight Go. as possible. Just do what you can. Go. So using your big toe, your little toe, big toe, little toe. That's it. Good. Keep it nice and tight to your feet. That's it. Good little turn. Go. Here we go. Left foot. Let's go. Big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe. Good. Fantastic. Go again. Good. Try and stay more central though. Even though we're working a Fish. zigzag, we don't want the zigzag to start changing direction everywhere. We want it to be a balanced line. Okay. Yeah. Go, go, big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe. Improved already. Get that. Good. Turn. And again, left foot, big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe. Good. Well done. Good. Good <laughs> time. So, right now, challenge for you. Well done. I want you to get even more touches. So I want you to be more delicate with your touches. So rather than like, so there's two extremes. One is the ball's made of glass, and two is you're trying to beat the ball up. Right, like a punch bag. So what was so we, what was I doing? So I think you was like you was on the way back. You was very heavy with your touch because the ball was moving away. And the thing is, what you want with this is you don't want a gap between you and the ball. It's about repetition, repetition, repetition. So when I'm touching the ball, what you was doing, it was good. You had good technique. But imagine it's a drum again. Yeah, you were like that. What I want now is is a the beat. opposite. Bam, 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 bam. Try so, again. So when you do it. Now, work smaller, quicker little touches. Smaller, quicker little touches. Yeah? All right? Ready? Yeah. Go. Go. Small, quick little touches. Refine it. Smaller. Smaller and faster. Nick the ball. Nick the ball so the ball just slightly changes direction. Well done. Turn. Left foot. Fantastic. Inside. Outside. Inside. Look at that. Well done, Sam. Go. Good. See? Inside. Outside. Inside. Fantastic. Good. Great movement in your hips as well. Well done. Set. Brilliant. Good. Brilliant. Good. And time.